might might be a bit on the steep side. Do you reckon? <laughs> I, 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 th I think it might come off the track. I think that might be a little out of gauge as well. Just, yeah. it's a tiny weenie bit. Just, just a tad. I it does mean. look like it's been around the block a few times. No, so probably... Gauge widening is entirely prototypical on the side course. I'm asking the question, where can you buy it, how much is it, and nobody knows. Not very good. Yeah. You can't buy it. You can't so buy it. Yeah. It, was, it was made specially for the programme, you see, so... Well, you've got somebody who jumped on that. So yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and what happened to all the bits that have been left over? They all got ground up. Uh, so they sold the people who bought them. But they're not UV stable, so that these will crumble to dust in a few years. You can already see with these lens, they're starting to twist and deform. We would like to do a transcontinental challenge against the National Model Railroad Society. Show and uh, got a viewer here from the YouTube channel. Uh, always, always nice to meet people who uh, watch the videos. I'm going to have another look around. You don't get exhibitions like this all the time, so while you're here, you've got to have a good look around to see what's going on. I've just been looking at some five inch steam. I don't know any other exhibition where I can go and buy five inch steam here. I can. It's special. I wish I had the pockets to do it, but different issue. Oh, don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> look, I'm looking at a really beautiful Tasmanian garret. Absolutely fantastic. £4,200. With Simon's body, about 20 more bucks. I said, What would you have the most fun with? What can you use with me? The garret. So, you know how like, Blue Peter measures everything by uh, football pitches or London double deck bus? Simon does everything by Volvo. Yes. So, this uh, is the Simon unit of currency. Yes. Volvo. Uh, I don't know if it ever replaced the Big Mac, which is, I think, one of the few truly universal currencies. At the end of the day, you can judge every economy by how long you have to work for to buy a Big Mac. It is that universal. Always a little bit esoteric, probably only works in Europe, but no, there's no question. Simon Martin's unit of currency is the Volvo. And as I understand it, the subunit is the book. So Simon works on so many books to the Volvo. What's beyond the Volvo we get to what he did? But how does he differentiate between the spec up Volvo with the spoiler on the back and the the, uh, the electrically heated rear seats? I don't think Simon believes that Volvo should be spec'd up. He likes them as stock as possible. Yeah, but he's got front fog lights on his. That's an optional extra. My 740 never had front fog lights. Well, the one that we bought out of uh, my daughter's garden was unbelievable. At the end of the day, we know for certain that that Volvo had not moved for six years. I know, yeah, it started right up, didn't it? It needed a new battery, but put the new battery in and that thing ran. The radio came on. The wipers worked. All but one light bulb still worked. I cannot believe it. I do not know of any other car in any other building where you could have it stood away in the rain and the elements for six years, put a battery in, it revs. Unbelievable. So it's never even been started up once? No, not in six years. Wow, wow. Literally, it took me three days to cut the foliage around it. Did it drive itself onto the, um, the pickup car? Yes. Probably? Brilliant. We couldn't believe it. Gosh, I'm, I'm amazed. Did even, even the tyres still hold there? We dropped in new tyres for safety. The tyres had some pressure in them, but for safety, we dropped in one group of tyres because we just didn't want to risk an accident getting it on the low load. It was too good to take the risk. Brilliant. It's always nice to see a Volvo get back on the road. Hopefully, fingers crossed, mine will be as well. So I'll be I'll be 110 better than uh, than Simon. Mine's an 850, and he's a 740. If you two are going to start racing, I'll come and watch. Actually, he's moving up to Sheffield in um, later this year. I yes. said to him, well, we'll have to race each other across the Snake Passes. Well, he has done one track day with his already. I'm aware of that. So if he's had a track day. You need to do a track day, we'll put you both in the crash hats and we'll get both Volvos going bumper to bumper. Well, I want to go around the Nürburgring. I, must, I, I was hoping he'd be here. I was going to challenge him to uh, do two weeks and we'll take the Volvos to the Nürburgring and, um, and just move around. Well, Simon, you've heard the challenge. 
Are you going to accept? To the Nurburgring. ring. Yes. Five to the four. Well, at least what was actually said was, if you wanted to go in the draw, you have to abort it by five to four. If you want to get the money and draw it past. No, not, not autographs, but I've been talking to a lot of people and it's always quite weird to have people come up and they, they seem to know me very well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. But on the biggest little railway, yeah. Well, I'm the hero of my little nephew because my little nephew watched that and thought, Auntie Jenny's on the telly. But he hasn't quite got the concept that it was filmed months and months ago. So he'll re like, be, be on the phone and my, my sister will be like, oh, Henry wants a word. And uh, he'll be like, oh, Auntie Jenny, why did you do X, Y and Z? And I'm thinking, what have I done now? But he's talking about what he's just seen on the TV. And he, he thinks that I've just done it, sort of a thing.
spel, mate. spell. Yeah. You're in Mount Lay, yeah. You're enjoying this too much, aren't you? one as well. Uh, Acucrum, I think. Wow, I dread to think how much that costs. Um, some. Uh, oh, yeah, see, I need a whistle. <laughs> I've decided. Must have a whistle. Oh, we've got people on the roof as well. I like that. Yeah, so what you used to have is a uh, little fella breaking up the coal. Yeah. So it would, I think it'd burn more hot or you'd get like that instant power. Yeah, yeah. Um, for when you're going up the steep. Right, let's go, let's go and, and snag ourselves a silver lady. Look at that. Oh, I've got to find a canal to whiz this piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you're quick, you might make it out the door. <laughs> They've got loads of these on the uh, roundhouse stand. I don't think they'll notice this one. My car or yours? Um, mine. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> right, see you later. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Wait, don't run past me that back. Uh -oh. No, 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 they'll manage. <laughs> They've got something much better. It's always nice to be fine. reunited with an old friend, actually, so it's got a few dings on. But it still works, actually. We had it running yes, earlier on, running around one of the layouts. Ah. It, it doesn't do too well. Oh, shit. It's a nice mix of the two. Yeah. These elements, really. I mean, it is railway modelling with the steam. That is actually quite nice. It's like a happy um, medium. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't say happy medium. I'd say it's probably the best of places. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or have a very big garden. Yeah. I mean, you could only do this here because it's. Well, you might have a big house. Yeah, but you can't get. The grass just grows too quickly. So that's a little. Well, not this. Is that teased out horse hair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, you couldn't. Unless you had, I don't know, repurposed a bowling alley that you had in your millionaire mansion. No, we used to. But something. then you'd want that as a bowling alley anyway. Well, I'll tell you what you'd use, moss. Moss doesn't get big, it's yeah. easy to no, maintain. No, I mean like to fit in though. I see a scale like this, moss and lichen, you can yeah. encourage it to grow on stuff like concrete by smearing yoghurt on it. Yeah. It seems to like that. And then you've kind of got this ready-made natural ground cover that just does its own thing. I'm sure that's getting a little bit more dinged every time we touch this thing. Probably. I think you've just got that touch. Have I? It just it just fell apart in my hands. Pick it up if you want. Uh, well, we saw it a bit. Uh, okay. This is, this is the entire reason we ended up coming here today was because of the oh, really? oh, wow. ground, so... There you go. Anyway, that's all we've got time for, so uh, we'll catch you all later. It's been really good fun here, catching up with some old friends and uh, some battered friends. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kurt, saying catch you later. Who are you calling battered? <laughs> Today's video has been brought to you in part thanks to the generous donation of my fans on Patreon. And a special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Mark Anthony and Michael Churchwood. If you'd like to help support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk. Thank you. 
Today's video has been brought to you by my books Bringing Home the Stars, Twinkle Little Star and also you can get the complete comic collections of All Over the House Books 1, Books 2 and also the wacky zany Life of Knobty Mouse. Thanks and catch you later.